welcome to my channel my name is Sarah and as you can probably tell I love handbags if this is a passion of yours as well as mine then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and leave me a little comment down below so that we can have chats all about handbags so today's video is going to be a little bit different I have purchased some handbags from Zara let me just put the massive box down so i do often look on zara at the handbags and quite often than not you do find some really great little bargains on there and um, same with all high street stores and um, river island not so much now because they keep putting ri on everything and i just don't like that but a few years ago they really used to do some great bags and um, same as Topshop, Primark occasionally will have really great bags you just have to keep your eye out have a look around and you will find the occasional gem so let's see what is in the box I won't lift the box up again because I am in my handbag cupboard and I'm a little bit restricted for room so first things out the box <laughs> Is a pair of shorts sorry nothing to do with handbags but um i saw a few people on youtube wearing these and they were in the sale pockets on the front faux leather pockets on the back elasticated waist oh amazing in the sale 11.99 really really like them so yeah not handbag related at all but you know they're in the box so, the first bag that we have is in its little dust bag. I do like that you get a dust bag from Zara. It is very cute. So, this little wicker one. It's very cute. It's very little. Little top handle. Very cute. This one was 19 and... I do really like it. I liked it as soon as I saw it on the website. They do it in this colour and they do it in black. Um, I must admit, I only ordered it because I was ordering the other things. And I thought, well, I'm intrigued. I want to know what it looks like. But um, now that I've got it, I know for a fact I won't use it. I don't use many wicker bags. I've got one black crossbody one from Primark that I just use for holiday that will do me i don't need any more wicker bags so but it's really really cute i really really like it so it's got a little bar fastener you just lift that up and that flips out and then you have got a crossbody strap and there you go it's all wicker inside you could possibly buy a little liner maybe to put inside if you wanted to strengthen it a bit um so yes super super cute little bag as i say i was more intrigued than anything i thought i probably wouldn't keep this one but it is really really nice and if you want a little wicker bag it's not that expensive it's super cute you can use it top handle then i would definitely recommend that one the next bag is this one so this is a little nylon pouch it has got a little zip there it's quite big it could fit quite a lot in this and i really like the navy color it comes with this thick guitar strap that says hello all over it it has got silver hardware it was 25.99 but the reason i brought it was the orange acrylic chain I'm completely addicted to acrylic chains and when I saw this one I was like oh, I haven't got an orange one this is very similar to the one that Louis Vuitton was putting on their bags in the men's section so it just clips off as well which is obviously great much easier so we'll just clip that off for the time being so this is the bag on its own, super cute, very unisex, 
I'm actually going to give this to my stepson. It's his birthday in a couple of weeks. He will be 12 and I'm sure he will absolutely love this when he's hanging around with his friends. It'll be all trendy and cool. So he will be having that part of the bag and I will be having this part of the bag. I'm sure he won't mind that he hasn't got the orange chain. Because let's be honest, he won't know. So, first thoughts for this one was to attach it to my little Prada pouch. Like that. So, that looks cool. The orange and green clash. And you can either, because I have this little chain there to hold it like that top handle. Or I can have it the other way round, the silver chain hanging down and hold it by the orange. Now, as I said before, it does have the silver hardware, the bag that it came from, but I do have some of these spare rings that are exactly the same, but I have the gold ones, so I can quite easily fit that onto my Louis by using these gold rings and possibilities are endless. I'm very excited about the, um, so I'm very excited about the orange acrylic chain. So we will just hang that one there just for a sec, just so you can see the beautiful orangeness of it. Third bag is this one. This is the most expensive one. This one was $59.99. This is suede. So if you are interested in getting this bag, then I would definitely suggest that you spray it with a protector just so that it will last longer and just in case it rains and you get any marks on it. This one I saw on the website and I was very interested because I love this shape. So this shape is very popular. Chloe do obviously this shape with the Tess coach, obviously do their version of it. Obviously there is the Dior Bobby, which is a very similar shape to this. And also Gucci used to do one like this as well. So as I said, it is suede all over, no feet or anything. And I think it comes with a canvas strap. Oh, oh okay. So, it comes with this suede one, which is adjustable, but on the website I saw that it was with a canvas one, but you actually get both. So you get the suede one and the canvas one, which I thought was stripey, but obviously it's not. But really, really nice, and you've got the suede ends as well so this is really nice and this is definitely like the gucci one i can't remember the name but that used to come with two straps it had a webbing one and then it had a suede one as well so really really nice this bag is for how much it is definitely and this would probably last you quite a few years if you looked after it and i love the fact that it's got the two straps really really nice this one so um let's just show you inside if you can't see that much but it's just one one pocket and um, there's a couple of little slits at the back to put cards in but yes really oh it smells nice as well yeah really really nice this one um i'm not sure if i will be keeping this one because obviously i have the coach one which is all leather, so that can go in any weather. Um, I have the test one, again, all leather, can go in any weather. So I don't really need another bag this shape, but I do really, really like it. I would definitely recommend it for somebody who's going for that Chloe vibe, um, because it's a great price and it feels really, really nice. And the fact that you get the two straps is amazing. The last bag is here. And again, it's a wicker one. Um, it's more raffia, actually, than wicker, this one. Um, it's just a large 
envelope style bag. This one was $29.99. Um, I must admit, again, Wicca Raffia, not my style at all. And the fact that it's quite, um, it's quite a long bag, so it would look quite big, I think, if you wore it crossbody or anything. But again, like the little blue one, the reason I ordered this one was not for the bag at all. It was for this huge chunky chain, which I absolutely love. So the actual bag itself, I'll quickly show you, is obviously lined. You have got a little pocket there at the back. Really, really nice little holiday bag, I would think. You could attach a different strap to wear it crossbody, because obviously that chain is only for a shoulder bag. But... We're not really interested in that bag. I'm sorry, that is not why I bought it. So let's be honest, the reason why I bought that bag was not because it's raffia or anything like that. It's the chain. Oh my God, I absolutely love this chain. And it comes on the little, it has the little claws. So you can take it on and off easy. Some of the others, I think they had it in black and green i don't think they're removable else i would have bought them probably but um because i'd have got more use out of those than i would that one but they weren't and i didn't want to start messing about putting attachments on so i just thought oh get this one and then i'll sort something out with the bag i'll give it away or something like that so this is the chunky chain I have got a couple of ideas of bags to put it on. The first one is my Noe pouch. I absolutely love this bag. It is a great customisable little pouch. So we shall clip this one on. Oh wow, look at that. Turned it into a little shoulder bag. That is cool. Or you could just hold it like that, handheld. I love it with the chunky chain. And then obviously you could have it hanging down. Put your either top handle or your crossbody on. Oh yes, I like that very much. Very, very happy with this chain. So the last bag I thought I could try the chain on is... My newest addition, this is my Louis Vuitton Petit Noé. Um, I didn't do an unboxing on this one because I had done quite a few. So, But I did do a reel on Instagram if you want to go and check it out and you can go and follow me. So yes, this is the newest addition to the handbag cupboard. His name is Pierre. Yes, I do occasionally name my bags and he deserved a name. So I think he looks great with this chain. I know it's not for everybody's taste, but I happen to like it. I remember years ago when we used to have the big pom-poms on our bags and everybody had them and then all of a sudden the craze stopped. And now I feel like bag charms and chains and personalisation is definitely, you know, strong again. So... I just love it. I love having something a little bit different and you can easily take it off again and then it's just back to being just your normal bag. So if you just take it off, then obviously it's just back to being a normal no way. I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit different, but I really enjoyed it. I have got another bag that I purchased recently from High Street Store, which I managed to snag because it's always sold out. So super happy with that. So hopefully I can show you that one soon and we'll have a look, little look at the quality of that one and what we can fit in. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope that I will see you again soon. Have a great day.